Welcome back to the Arbitress YouTube channel. In today's class, we'll be learning how to make this beautiful caftan dress with pleated selvage at the neckline and plaquette. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. This is something you like to learn. Kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so my fabric is folded into four, two for front and two for back. Okay, so now the next thing is the length that you're going to use to fold this is your full length. In this case, the full length is 58 inches. So I'm adding two inches allowance for the hemming. That's 50, 60 inches total for the front and 60 inches for the back. That's the length that I'm working with. And then for the width, I'm working with my fullest measurement, which is the hip. So your hip divided by four plus whatever is that you want to add and the allowance that you want to use to sew it. That's what you're going to use to fold the width. So now we're going to draft our normal bodies. The shoulder that I'm working with is 16 inches. 16 divided by 2 is going to be 8 inches. So I have 8 inches here. Hope my chalk is feasible. So here I'm going to go down by one inch for my shoulder slope. It's just normal basic bodies that will draft. So just watch what I'm doing. So for the neckline, I don't want it too wide. I'm going for a neckline of three inches by one inch for the back and three inches by three inches for the front. That's just a regular neckline, but you can do any neckline of your choice. So I'm going to connect this to the neckline that I'm working with. And then I'm going to do the same for the front. So the next thing to do is to connect your shoulder slope. So using my ruler, I'm going to connect my shoulder slope from my neck point to where my shoulder is. Sorry, the chalk is not so feasible. So that's my shoulder slope right there. So from there, I'm going to take my hand pole measurement. The hand pole is nine inches. So I have nine inches here and then I'll also make that into a straight line okay. and then on that hand pull mark I'm going to take my bust measurement the bust I'm working with is 44 inches 44 divided by 4 is going to give me 11 inches so this is 11 inches right here and then I'm going to have two inches for my allowance Okay, so the next thing is to use my cuff to connect my ham hole. So I'm just going to look for a place where I have them together like this and then I'm going to draw my ham hole. So this is something we've been doing regularly on the channel. So by now I'm sure we know how to draft our basic body. So this is the ham hole cuff. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to take my half length measurement. The half length is 16 inches. And this depends on how fitted you want this to be. So on the half length here, you're going to take your waist measurement. Sorry, I don't have any other color of chalk right now. So I'm just making do with what I have. So here I'm going to take my waist measurement. The waist I'm working with is 38, 38 right by 4. 38 divided by 4 is going to give me around sorry, 9 and a half. So I'm going to mark the 9 and a half inches here. Okay, I'm going to add half an inch for ease because I don't want it too tight. And then I'm going to add 2 inches for my seam allowance. Okay, so I'm going to connect my waist to my hip to my first sorry okay so from there i'm going to measure my hip line the hip line is 26 inches so there i'm going to mark my round hip measurement so the hip line is there then i'm going to make that also into a straight line so after making it to a straight line i'm going to divide my hip measurement by four so the hip measurement that i took i took is very loosely so i have 15 inches divided by 4 is going to give me 12.5 okay i do not make it tight and then you can even add more ease if you don't want it tight at all 
so then i'm going to add the allowance that we added which is two inches and i'm going to connect this to the hip so if it's looking too big if it's looking funny on the waistline because we had it to it i'm just going to try to blend this in because i don't want this tight at all so and i just make sure to blend this very well okay so this is what i have so now this waist measurement is going to be a straight gown I'm going to be having the slit on one side. So this hip measurement that I have is what I'm going to take all the way to the hem of the dress. Okay, it's just going to be straight down. It's not a line or anything. So now I'm going to cut out what I have marked. Like I said, I'm going to cut out the neck for the back first. So I'm just checking to make sure that I have three inches there. Okay, so my three inches is here. I'm going to cut out my back neckline first, and then I'm going to cut my shoulder slope, then the ham hole. So I'm just going to cut everything out. Okay, so I've cut out this shape that I have here now. The next thing is to remove my back so that I can cut out my front. So this is going to have a button placket in the front so i'm not going to hide a zipper but we don't want to hide the placket maybe you just want the design to just be there and closed you may need to open the back and then add the zipper allowance so that i can add a zipper to it but i'm just going to use the button so i'm not adding any zipper allowance to this so i'm going to match it up very well and then cut out my front neckline so this is the three inches that i have on my front and then i'm going to cut it off so for the design now it depends on where you want it to stop i want it to stop around my waist area which is 16 inches here so i'm just going to open it up at the center part up to the 16 inches mark where i'm adding my design so i just turn it so that i can cut it easily so i'm just cutting this open up to the 16 inches so when i open it up this is what it's going to look like okay i have my design up to that point so now i'm going to take the salvage of the fabric that i already trimmed up this is the salvage and then i'm going to look for the size that i want so this is like the border length so i'm just going to trim it up to that border and then i'll take this to the sewing machine and then pleat this along this open edge on both sides so i'll go over to the machine now and do this and then i'll bring it back to show us what we have okay so i'm going ahead to gather it and as you can see it is gathered on both sides so the next thing now is to create my placket already i have a tutorial on how you can create your placket on the channel so if you're not clear you can check that tutorial out it's dedicated only for making a placket so now i'm using this piece of fabric for my placket is about five inch it's about three inches in width and i'm going to sew it around this now so i'll first sew it like this all around and then after sewing it i'm just going to use it to cover it up so that i can have something like this so again if you don't understand this just check the video on placket so i'll do this round now and bring it back to show so what i'm doing basically is just suspending this in between this like this then i'll sew it round okay so i've sewn the fabric around it now you can see that the same allowance that i use in gathering this is already inside the fabric that i'm using for my placket so i'm just going to fold it over like this and then i'm going to close my placket so like i said if you don't understand this just watch that video on placket so i'll fix my button hole and my button on this so i'll go over to the machine and close this now okay so for the sleeve i have my sleeve basic sleeve now up to the elbow then the elbow measurement is 12 inches so i had it half an inch for the gather that i'm adding so now for the gathers again i'm using the selvage so i'm just measuring what i have here on my round sleeve and then i'm going to multiply that by two 
to get the measurements i'm going to gather so the length of this is actually five inches and then i'm going to be gathering it to the hem okay so this gathers is actually in two layers so i have another selvage that is shorter than this so the length of this is it's just three inches so now after gathering this on the hem on this i'm going to gather everything here to this hem then the shorter one which is three inches i'm going to measure like three inches upward from my hem and then i'm going to gather that also for it to fall on it like this okay so i'll go ahead and gather this and bring it back to show us so i've gathered all of this this is the first layer the five inches is gathered to the m and then the three inches is gathered three inches away from the m and then it's just falls on each other like what we have here so now the last thing to do is to couple all of them together i'm going to bring in the front the front and back of my dress and then i'm going to join it on the shoulder so after joining it on the shoulder, after joining the front and back on the shoulder, I'm going to sew it on the side and then I'm going to add my sleeve to it. Okay, so the shoulder is sewn now as we have seen and then I sew it on the side using the seam allowance that I left. So on the neckline, I piped it with the same lace. You can also pipe it with the bias of a merchant color. I just cut the lace on bias and then used it to turn the neckline so that it's going to be neat. And then I went ahead to sew the sleeve also. So this is what the full outfit is looking like. So on the placket area, I made my button O and then fixed my buttons on it like this. So if you don't know how to make a button O, there's a tutorial on that on the channel. So this is what the full outfit looks like so on the side here on both sides you can just leave it at just one side but on both sides i left like 15 inches before the m line to make a slit remember this is cut in a straight form so that you can wear it easily that's why i have this slit on both sides and then i went ahead to hem it so this is what the full outfit looks like i'm going to put it on the mannequin now so that we'll see what it looks like so this is what the outfit looks like on the mannequin you can see the design that we placed there and this is the full view i hope you enjoyed making this tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye